A very good evening to every single one of you. Thank you so much indeed for your company. My name is Mike Mason. You're watching this here on Ideal World. And I've got a question for you. Are you happy with the job that you're in? Because maybe an awful lot of people right now are going, well, not really, but you know, what are we going to do about it? It's funny that, isn't it? Because they say if you find a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So why do we put up with the jobs that we don't like? I'll tell you why, responsibility, it's as simple as that. We've got families to support, we've got bills to pay, and we're kind of stuck in a rut, but unfortunately it's the rut that we have to kind of stay in. In this hour, we are gonna present something to you that's very, very rare. It's golden, it really is opportunity knocking in a way that's probably never knocked before. This hour could potentially change your life. Now, how is that possible? Well, if you look around me, I'm surrounded by these banners and it's called The Job Show. This hour is all about uniting talent with opportunity. Now, the talent is you. The opportunity is huge. And what's gonna happen is something unbelievable. A lot of you might be thinking, I'd love to change my job, but I just don't know where to find the kind of job that I want. Well, first and foremost, you've got to ask yourself, what's stopping you? Do you feel too old? Do you feel unqualified? Do you feel as if you're just kind of having to go through the motions because who'd want to employ me? And what you're actually doing is what so many people in society do nowadays. They accept less when really you deserve more. You deserve the dream. But that responsibility is that rut we all get stuck into. The job show is opportunity and it's a massive one. The job show is something that really is so extraordinarily good that if you want a job, this is where you go. But what kind of jobs are available? Huge amounts, hundreds upon hundreds of jobs that could be exactly what you're looking for. Whether you're 16 and just leaving school and you're looking for a job or you're 66 and you're sick of the job that you're in, this is the hour that could potentially open opportunity and change your life forever. Are you tempted? Are you interested? Of course you are. Before we move on with the show, one other thing. Some of you might be saying, do you know what, Mike? I know what you're going to say. I need my CV. I need this. I need that. No, that's what you think we're going to say. The people behind the job so are so good at what they do, they know the best representative of your talents isn't a piece of paper, it's you, the individual. That's why they unite talent with opportunity. And they encourage you to represent yourself. Because let's face it, no one can do it better. You don't need qualifying, you just need ambition. And if you're that individual, watch this hour, because it could change everything. I'm going to introduce you very, very soon to a couple of people on the show that really are worth listening to. First and foremost, we are joined by a gentleman called Andrew McGregor. Now, you might have seen him before. He's from Thomas Sarnesons. And Thomas Sarnesons are a blinds company that are recruiting as we speak. And he's going to tell you potentials in a company that could change your life. But a lady that is absolutely astonishing is also sat on our sofa, and she is the managing director and co-founder of The Job Show. Her name is Caroline Connelton, and we're going to be chatting to her in a few moments' time. We're also going to be talking about the apprenticeships that are available, and it is the National Apprenticeship Week on the 14th to the 18th of March, and we're going to be dipping our toe into those waters as well. So if you're a parent that wants the best for your children, or you are an individual that just wants the best for yourself, watch on, my friends, because this could be the hour that changes your life forever. What's the job show all about? And Caroline Connelton, this will explain. Hi, my name is Caroline Connaughton. I'm Managing Director of The Job Show and I set up uh, The Job Show in 2013 along with my director and co-founder Victoria Clark. Um, we decided The Job Show was a very important aspect to recruiting in the UK basically because in today's electronic and impersonal environment um, everyone's uploading CVs but they don't get the opportunity to talk face to face and sell themselves. So the job show is really about people coming along, rather than their CV doing the talking, they get the opportunity to talk directly to a decision maker. And that's what it's all about. So it's people by people, and we think our event really allows that to happen. So it's very important for the UK, and we're traveling all over the UK, spreading the benefit, really, of the job show. So it's great. 
clubs are great venues because they're destination venues, so most people within the local area know of the football club. But they have to go out of their way to come. So as soon as they come through the door, the recruiter knows that that individual has made a conscious decision that they either want a new job or they want to train for a new job or get another a new career, or, you know. So they know that they're already pre-qualified. They come through the doors, they're not just passing, they're seriously interested in a job. You're intrigued, aren't you? And so you should be, because there's nothing worse than having to do a job because you have to do the job. Wouldn't it be lovely to have the job that you've always wanted? Getting up in the morning would be an absolute joy, wouldn't it? Well, hopefully to unite you with that opportunity, I'm joined by the managing director and co-founder of The Job Show. It's the wonderful Caroline Connerton. Hello, Caroline. Hello, How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Now, we've done one show already. We have. And from what we did in that show, you ha I know you had a big job show today. We did. And it was attended by hundreds and hundreds of people. Yeah. You must be very proud of what you've achieved. Well, yeah, very pleased. I mean, it's great to see people coming through and being helped by recruiters to find a job that suits them. Um, today we've had, I think, just over 300 people at, uh, we were at Peterborough United Football Club. Um, it was great because it's opened up by Barry Fry, um, who's director of uh, football at the football club. And uh, we had some fantastic people coming through um, who were looking for jobs from a whole host of sectors, really. Anything from sort of catering, hospitality, right the way through to construction. We had IT, we had finance, we had lots of people down there. Um, and just a whole range. And it, a good CV clinic as well. So we had uh, people coming in that... Um, for some reason or other they may have lost their job they're looking for a CV they didn't know how to write one and they popped into the CV clinic and got one today so it's just a great day really so obviously from what you've said some people might be able to put the pieces together and have a kind of an idea of what the job show is all about if I may for people that have never heard or seen these shows before mm. what exactly is the job show right the job show is what we call a face-to-face -face recruitment and careers event. So what that means to the viewers, if, if you're looking for a job these days, uh, the options are you could um, upload a CV and you could try and find something electronically. But we feel that's the wrong way to go, um, and partly because people just don't have the opportunity to sell themselves. So people come along to our events, um, they're able to talk directly to a recruiter, if they bring their CV along, they can sell themselves rather than their CV do the talking. Um, and they have an opportunity to talk face to face. These days, there's just not that chance in today's society to actually be able to talk to one another. So I think it's great. Recruiters love it because they can see instantly uh, if they see someone and they look at their CV, they like the personality of the person standing in front of them. They're more than keen to take them on for a second interview. Um, and the, the individual, obviously, you know, sometimes it's such a faceless society. We, we upload CVs. We don't get a response and if you are looking for a job it affects your confidence and you, you really want to talk to someone and just ask questions about the companies see what they've got to offer and see whether your skill sets will fit their requirements it can be incredibly disheartening when you've studied you've qualified you've achieved so much in order to try to get the job that you're after mm -hmm. and then like you say you send off a CV to a faceless company and that's no detriment to the companies that are looking for employees mm -hmm. but you send it off and you hear nothing back you hear no response and you sometimes wonder what's all that time and effort gone into Absolutely. what have I achieved but with the job show it actually puts you in contact face to face without that piece of paper doesn't it It does I mean as I say I had a gentleman today he'd been worked for a company for 36 years came along to our event and he said I really don't know where to go how do you find a job these days he said in my day he said you pick up the paper and you'd look in the back three pages and I remember that myself and he, he said I don't know what to do how do I go about it and I said to him this is why you're here you know and he he got his CV written on the day and he's found some fantastic contacts today and he, he walked out a happy man and that's what it's all about so it's breaking down the barriers that we have in today's society as I like to say but it's opening up the doors allowing people to talk um, and as well as that a lot of companies they want to explain what they want to offer people and they want to be able to have that opportunity to engage and so this is where the job show comes into full effect you come in the door you can talk to a human being it's not a computer and you can ask questions about the companies and likewise the recruiter can ask you about you and and see your CV so it's just a great way to and to there it. are jobs available they're waiting to be filled aren't they yeah. so how is the job show doing? The job show is doing really well. We've been going over three years now. Uh, we have over 30,000 people that have registered on our website.
websites for various events across the UK. Uh, we've had over 300 exhibitors. I think we've got some of the facts and figures on the screen there. Um, and it, we are doing exceedingly well. And it's, um, I just think, really, these days there is such a need for what we're doing. And so, uh, you know, we, will, we want to spread the word across the UK, really, and get the message out. So, yeah, it's a great, great opportunity. The company's doing really well. And, uh, yeah, uh, you know, just come along, really. We've got some super events coming up in the future. So it's all happening. So you want to know, don't you? When's the next event? How do I get there? Is it going to cost me anything? Look, so many questions. Let's take it one step at a time. First and foremost, it's going to cost you nothing. Free admission. you just got to register. So let's take you through all of the details you want to know. Firstly, where's the next event? Okay, let's go through that. First and foremost, the next event will be Thursday the 17th of March at Aston Villa Football Club. Now, the reason why it's at football clubs are these are massive points of interest. These are found on satellite navigation systems as places that everybody know. They're well signposted, so getting there even has already helped you. There's plenty of signposts to let you know where the football clubs are, okay? Now, how do I register for this? Well, there's a couple of ways in actual fact, and each as simple as the other. First and foremost, of course, we live in a modern day technology, so you can register via the website or you can register via what's called a QR code. Now, some of you might be going, what's a QR code? That's a QR code. Now, you might be thinking, oh, it all sounds a little bit clever for me. Look, if you know what they're all about, you'll know what to do with that. If you don't, disregard it. We are here to hold your hand. Caroline and Victoria, the ladies behind this incredible idea and this development, have taken care of everything for you. So, if you don't know what that's all about, get on the website. It's as simple as idealworld.tv forward slash the job show. So once you land on the page, that's all you gotta do. Get onto that website. By registering, it will get you free admission. Again, you've got that code if you want to scan it, it's entirely up to you. Now, when it comes to forms, some of you might be thinking, oh goodness gracious me, I hate filling in forms. I know exactly what you mean. And again, Caroline and her partner, Victoria, have taken care of that. Now, when you land on the page, you see that little click just there? Click it. As soon as you click that page, you are taken through to the registration form. And I can tell you now, what you see, that's it. You register for the event you want to go to, then all we require is very, very small information. You register for the event, we need your name, your phone number, your email, and your postal code. It's as simple and as easy as that. Once you're registered, free admission to the job show, and then the world's your oyster. And I think what you've done there, Caroline, is you've literally offered such a lovely helping hand and almost like a warm cuddle of confidence to say, look, it's easy to get involved, yeah. it's easy to get there, yeah. and once you're there, finding a job, we even try to make that easy for you as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's all about just opening up, lifting the barriers, really, and yeah. allowing people that opportunity. And as I say, I can't stress enough, there isn't the opportunity for people to talk. Companies don't get the opportunity to engage with their local community. Now, we hold our events in football clubs because they're basically destination venues. So in any uh, region you go to, everybody knows their local football club. Yeah. Um, we ask them ideally to pre-register as we're saying today pre-register so we know what sort of roles you're looking for and if you can tell us what roles you're looking for we try to match your needs so if we have loads of people coming in saying I want a job in construction we'll try and match their requirements and have someone recruiting for construction when they come through so we try to get it's not it's, there's more of a chemistry to it we try to match the requirements of the people that register on our site to make sure we find a job for them when they come in so it's, it's breaking down opening up the doors allowing people to talk you know so saying. that was going to be my my next question in actual fact so at the next event that we now know is on the 17th of March at Aston Villa Football Club yep. what kind of recruiters what kind of companies are going to be there so people can kind of already forearm themselves as to one preparing for those yep. or even oh there's something that I'm really interested in right the Birmingham event we've got a whole host we've got over 400 jobs already um, people have booked in to, to attend now we've got a whole sort of in different sectors anything from care work right the way through to admin office admin there's a whole host actually and we are very big on apprenticeships for this show at, at Birmingham basically because the show is being held in the National Apprenticeship Week 
Um, so it's on the 17th of uh, March. It's at Aston Villa Football Club. Um, we open up the doors at 10.30 till 3 o'clock. Um, so if you do want apprenticeships, do come along. We've actually got the National Apprenticeship Centre who are coming in, and they're looking for lots of people in construction apprenticeship. So if you have a young person who's wanting to get a job and learn about construction, send them along to this event because we are looking for people for apprenticeship in construction, which is very unique. You know? Mike, what you didn't know, obviously we, we've done this show before, when I was a child, when I was a younger lad and I was looking for work, my dad was a master plasterer. Right. And uh, sadly, he's no longer with us, but he said to me, boy, get a trade. Make sure you get a trade. So I went off and I did an apprenticeship for the local council as an electrician. Right. And it was one of the best, one piece of advice that was ever given to me because there was always work available. But when you start getting into construction, there are some things I think that technology can almost take over the human touch. Yeah. But if you're in construction, no computer can lay bricks. No, they can't. They can't. And so there's there's a big demand. There's a lot going on in Birmingham. There's lots of big developments happening, but particularly in London. If you see what's happening in London at the moment, you know there's going to be a big construction boom. It's all about to happen. I think yeah. they've got so many, 16,000 houses, I think, being built. So there's, there's a requirement. So now's the time. If you're a young person, now's the time to get to be an apprentice in construction because you know in the future, come a couple of years down the road, when you've done your apprenticeship, you're ready to rock and roll. You, you're down there. You know, you've got the and job. then obviously from construction, because it's not just about construction, there's so many other jobs and recruitment there, isn't there? There are. I mean, at this event in Birmingham, as I say, there's a whole host um, right the way through from care work to hospitality. We've got, um, do you know, there's so many. There's actually quite a, a massive amount. But, um, you know, if you want to come along, just come along, register. It's free to register. Um, and as I say, if we know what you're looking for specifically, if we haven't got the requirement, we try to match it so that when people come through, we've got something for everyone. That's our aim. Obviously, we can't you know, create miracles all the time, but we try to do as many as possible and match the requirement of the people booking in so that we've got the jobs for them when they get there. And I think some people, when they're looking for jobs, they just don't know where to go. I mean, there's obviously the obvious choices, but with this... There's a plethora. There's an absolute smorgasbord of jobs waiting to be filled. I mean, who else is going to be at the next event? Uh, well, as I say, we've got the care workers. The names off, off hand, there's, we've got care workers. We've got um, people in finance. We've got IT. Uh, as I say, it's a whole host, you know, there's just so many office admin. Um, it just depends what they're after, really. Um, so, uh, yeah, just register and come in and we'll see where we go from there. So potentially just taking you from what you just said, if some people go, I just don't know where to go and find jobs. There's potentially thousands of jobs waiting to be filled just by attending the job show. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, there are. Yeah, That's so incredible. It, it sounds quite simple, doesn't it? And you think, well, why aren't people doing? You know, there should be more people. You know, we get a lot coming, but it's such an easy way to find to find work. And there are recruiters out there. They want to recruit staff, and so bring along your CV. Um, as I say, dressed in press. I always like to say that to people, and just come in and just talk to people. Again, getting back to um, my father and my, and my family, you always say, never be late for an interview ever. No, no one wants someone that can't be bothered no. and always make the first impression the best one so dress smart yeah. so great advice me thinks but also at the same time to every single one of you out there great response from recruiters because recruiters want to be at the job shows they want to meet you so who from the recruiting world goes to the job shows well I'm not going to list them they're going to speak for themselves <laughs> My name is Michelle Rowlands, I'm the Talent Acquisition Manager for Magnet in the UK. We feel it's a fantastic opportunity for us to meet people face to face and personality is all what it's about in our company so it's nice to see CVs don't always give the right impression of people so it's been brilliant that we've had loads of members of our team here and they've been able to talk to people, tell them more about what we do and obviously find out a lot more about them. We're already running out of contact forms, you know, we're ru rushing around trying to get some more photocopy. The amount of people that have come across to us and just, just having a really nice open chat with them, I think that's been the most important thing. Yeah, we've had a fantastic day today and uh, we've had the opportunity to meet lots of different types of people, such people that could be potential drivers of tomorrow, rental sales agents, station managers, so a real array of different skill sets that have been here today, so it's been very worthwhile. The venue really lends itself well and I think that's been a pull uh, in terms of bringing people to the event in itself and uh, the facilities have been fantastic. 
not a lot of people know what we offer. And by us coming to something like this, we can showcase what we offer through our colleges, through Welbeck, and through our four apprenticeships that we do throughout the whole of the army. So it's you know it's a good opportunity for us to come in and say, look, look, this is what we are without the guns and bullets. But the venue is great and the people here, the companies are good and it's really well organised and really well put together and, and the people that work at the job show have been really helpful in the last couple of weeks, you know, us actually getting here. Um, but, but the people that are coming through the doors and meeting us as well, the potential candidates, really high calibre, really good attitude, everyone's here smiling, here for the right reasons. So, so yeah, lots of really good benefits for us.